Hot off the press, big news coming out of Snowflake in the public sector. Snowflake is now officially FedRAMP high. The Federal Risk and Authorization Management Program, which is FedRAMP, is a government-wide program that provides a standardized approach to security assessment, authorization, and continuous monitoring for cloud products and services. To explore this achievement further, I'm delighted to be joined by Jeff Frazier, Head of Global Public Sector at Snowflake, as well as Kevin Griffith, Senior Director of Federal Sales at Snowflake. Gentlemen, great to have you on the program today. Ryan, it's great to be here and it's great to see you again. Thanks for hosting us. Ryan, thank you. Thank you for having us. Now, Jeff, let's start with you. What does the certification mean for Snowflake and your government customers? Achieving a FedRAMP high status for any product is a major milestone. It's very difficult to achieve this status. So in terms of the native cloud providers, we're one of the very few to have achieved this. So the question is really, what does it mean for our Snowflake and more importantly for our customers all over the world? Well, a FedRAMP high status is a well-recognized achievement. Uh, even recognized as across many NATO countries. It's the U.S. government stamp of approval. It's that you've reached a high bar and a requirement to enter sensitive and critical areas to offer Snowflake data compute services at scale. So for our customers, it's really important. This is a formal commitment that we make to achieving security excellence and a commitment we make to overall product security for our global customers. Great context. Thank you, Jeff. That makes a lot of sense. Kevin, can you share how this designation will translate into value delivered to the public sector, specifically in the U.S.? Absolutely. Thank you, Ryan. And and just to follow on a bit to what Jeff said, you know, it's not easy to get this certification. It really requires the technical expertise around government regulations. It also requires a government sponsor. So you have to have the government really on board even before you start the process. It takes executive leadership support inside of the company. And, you know, maybe most of all, it requires a whole lot of patience because it's a tough process to get through. And so it, it takes some time. And so it's a big deal for us. And it builds on our IL-4 certification that we received for the United States Department of Defense. And really what it does is it opens markets for us within the U.S. federal government. Companies that have achieved this certification, they view it as a hunting license uh, to go out and, and work on achieving customers within the federal civilian government. And those that don't have it, the companies that don't have it, the perception is that the market is closed. And I think both of those perceptions are correct. And I think that this is really important for the federal government because, you know, like commercial companies, the federal government is becoming more data-driven. Uh, data-driven decisions and, and AI are critically important to the federal government. And Snowflake's product is, is a SaaS product. It just works, meaning we manage everything for our customers. And I think that that's particularly important for government customers who have less ability to hire high-end technical talent like Python programmers and data scientists. And so our advanced features really democratize access versus having everything controlled by the high priests of data science. Thanks, Kevin, for the background. I want to dive uh, a little bit deeper into this. How does this play into Snowflake's strategy, specifically in the U.S.? Sure. Thanks, Ryan. We think that the federal government should really represent about 10% of Snowflake's revenue. Uh, it does take longer to build a federal market due to the certifications, due to long-term contracts, risk aversion of the government, and other factors. But having FedRAMP high really removes some of the barriers that we have to serve this market. And it just shows Snowflake's dedication to this federal market and really shows our commitment to security more broadly. And you know we're providing a world-class, secure, single SaaS platform that really can serve multiple diverse use cases, everything from fraud detection, being able to ingest financial data and analyze that, cybersecurity work, work, uh, use cases, personnel data, HR and health data, and many more. And, you know, we're not done. I mean, this is a great achievement, but we are going to continue to roll out other government-focused deployments on multiple clouds, multiple regions, and we're going to continue to work on additional certifications such as IL-5 for the Department of Defense, other Department of Defense deployments, and intelligence community deployments as well. That's great to hear, Kevin. Jeff, zooming back out a, a little bit, Snowflake just launched their government education data cloud. You know, FedRAMP High is another market moment, but I have to ask, what comes next? Stay tuned. You're going to see us continue excellence in product security. It, it, we owe it to this community. We owe it to it's our largest global TAM um, is the public sector uh, globally in our regulated spaces. So we have commitments to achieve even higher levels of security compliance certifications. 
not just within the US, but globally with our high security requirements that support the customers across continental Europe, Middle East, Africa, and the Asia Pacific theaters. I'm here right now in London with this exact conversation with the leaders, the government leaders and the regulators in, in, um, in the UK. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me today. Looking forward to seeing what's next for Snowflake and the public sector. Always a pleasure having you on Data Cloud Now. Thank you, Ryan. It's always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for hosting us. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Jeff.